still at the farm. I'm one of the farmers. Uh, so this is part two of our uh, rain washing situation. Uh, so I showed you the damage. I showed you what was happening. And now I'm going to show you our attempt at fixing it. So the thing about agriculture is you can't just stop. Uh, even though, um, you know, the, the logical human response is this is not really worth it. Uh, you, you don't get to just do that. And a lot of the things that need to be done need to be done in a fairly timely manner. So we stopped. We got something to eat. We got a little perspective on what's happening. And now we're going to try to fix it. So what we're doing is we've gone through, we've walked up and down the roads and the trails and the garden. And we have found uh, kind of where we feel like most of the water is coming from. And now we're working on diverting it. So I am currently loading up... Uh, all of these giant bags of gravel. Uh, so we had this from our uh, well project last year. That's back this way. Um, and remember that we hit water, but we couldn't get deep enough. And so we didn't end up using any of the gravel that we had got for casing and different stuff like that. Uh, so rather than just leaving it here, we've made use of it in a few places. Uh, thankfully, we still have a big pile of it. So I'm gonna start loading these in the back of the gator and we're gonna use these for creating some breaks uh, to slow down water. And we're also going to be digging a few ditches across um, our drive that goes down and trying to get the water to go to the other side of the driveway instead of straight down the garden. So that's what we're working on right now. I'm loading and Brandon's getting out the tractor. We're going to see if the tractor can do most of the digging for us. Uh, there'll be shovels involved. Lots of work. Um, we're going to hit the ground running again and see what we can fix. Okay, so we've been at it a while. A couple hours. Basically what we've done is all of the terraces, we have added um, essentially spillways, relief drains. Uh, this side of the road is uh, kind of a natural ditch. We didn't dig it to be a ditch, but it has formed one. So we're just going to work with it. Um, and none of these are done correctly. Uh, I, I don't know, Smith County might hire us. Their ditches aren't fabulous to begin with, but no other dirt crews are going to hire us. They're not professional. Uh, but we took the potato planter basically and dug ditches and then we kind of smoothed out with the shovel, evened out um, through dirt to the low hill to stop the water and get it going that way as it comes down. And then on that end, because this terrace eventually needs to go that way, but there's potatoes in the way right now. So right now there's just kind of a relief ditch going that way as well. Um, but we've done these all up the hill. Um, just looking at the trails where the water came through and by uh, judging where most of it was coming and trying to work with the way it was naturally wanting to run. Uh, there's a few places where we've added um, gravel bags, which doesn't do as good as sandbags, but it's what we have available. Um, and then we've just dug out these ditches and we're letting them drain. So it's not perfect. Um, and honestly, what we're probably going to do, because there is no better time to tell uh, what water is going to do than when it is raining. So this week, as we get some more rain showers, we're probably going to do the raincoats and rubber boots method. And we'll be out here and with uh, raincoats and shovels and digging the trails as the water flows, trying to divert it where we want it to go. It's not perfect. We're still frustrated. Um... We found as many tomatoes as possible and replanted them. We'll have to see what the squash and all does in the plastic, how bad it washed out because those were seeds, so it's not anything that we can find right now. On the plus side, the tomatoes have lots of water. Uh, the squash and zucchini is coming up. What well, didn't wash away. Uh, green beans and okra is coming up. So there are some things coming up and doing well with this rain. And hopefully we'll have that pretty well diverted and and make progress from there. So that is the second update on the weather and how it hit our farm this week. Um, hopefully that one was a little more uh, inspirational than the first one. Y'all be sure and tell your friends about us and come back when you can stay longer.